Well, this area is now no stranger to spotted lanternflies. Last summer, parts of the area were covered with the bugs, and they'll be back again soon. Experts say now is the time to scrape their eggs off trees and put out traps. Meteorologist Drew Anderson has a look at what you can do in your yard. I'm not seeing anything here on these branches. Let me show you what I'm looking for. It's a gray putty like material or cement, dried cement, splattered cement. And that's what's covering up the eggs of spotted lanternflies. The eggs hatch in the next few weeks, so now's the time to get scraping. Any hard piece of plastic will do. They're not attached very securely. You can scrape into a bag and it'll just fall right off into the bag or a cup. Squirt some hand sanitizer or some rubbing alcohol into the bag because that is what will kill the eggs. But what about those eggs you can't reach? Now is the time to put out your traps. The circle traps are really kind of interesting. The insects just march up in there and get trapped. That's Shannon from the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. And she says that circle traps are the way to go. They're well engineered, but they're also easy to either acquire online or make yourself. Even the United States Department of Agriculture prefers the circle traps over sticky bands. We found sticky material like flypaper kind of. That was actually catching some things we didn't want to catch like pollinators, butterflies, bees. And even small birds can get caught in that sticky paper. So if you do use it on your trees, make sure you cover it up with some chicken wire to help protect birds. But be careful which chicken wire you buy. The other wire that has more of a straight line pattern was really not effective. They would actually walk up the straight lines of the other type of chicken wire. And here they didn't, they weren't able to, so they would actually step off into these holes and get stuck to the tape. And if you want to use sticky bands, we are offering for any Northampton County residents um, a roll of banding material to put on the trees on their property. The only material they would have to buy is the wire itself. If you want more info on that Northampton County Conservation District giveaway, just head to WFMZ.com. That's also where we talk about how to make or buy circle traps. And there's one more thing you can do to stop the spread of spotted lanternflies. It's simple. Check your car. It spreads by hopping on your car or whatever you're traveling in and hitchhiking to new areas. So this year, don't be surprised if you see the circle traps as you travel. Along the turnpike, interstates, rail beds, in ports, those kinds of places. With the story from Northampton County, I'm meteorologist Drew Anderson on 69 News. And Drew says one small spotted lanternfly egg mass can have 30 to 50 eggs. So there will be many eggs hatching on the branches that you can't reach to scrape. And that's why those traps are a big help in stopping the spread.